Welcome guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to take this and turn it into this. We're talking interior design using Mid Journey and ChatGPT. Okay, so basically what you wanna do is stand in the corner of the room facing the area you want to design. You wanna take a clean picture. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put that into Mid Journey. So you wanna sign up for Discord and then you wanna to go to Mid Journey and sign up for Mid Journey. While you're on the Mid Journey's website, signing up, it'll link you to Discord and then it'll open inside of Discord. And then from there, you can send a personal message to Mid Journey and follow these prompts. So this is a picture of my bedroom. I put it inside of Discord. And how you do that is you click this plus, hit upload file. It'll upload inside Discord. You then click on it and open it. Hit copy image link. And then you go down here, backspace, image, imagine, paste that code in, and then tell it to do interior design. Okay. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but then, voila, it spit out these four. And immediately I was amazed because as you can see, Picture three here, I mean, I'll, I'll just say the first three pictures definitely look like my room. If you look at the placement of the window and the ceiling fan, and I liked design three. What's so cool about this is it shows you if you wanna put your bed on either the north or the south wall. Okay, I wanted to see a different variation of that with like possible wood grain. I liked picture number three. I hit variation three. And before it just put wood, design. It spit out these four images and I really liked image two. I just hit U2 for upscale image two. And then from there, I have this. I'm gonna right click it and hit save image as. I did the same thing with my living room. This was my living room about a year ago and I have a few things on the floor, but really what we're looking at is the ceiling fan, this wall with the curtains and this wall with the TV. Okay, so I followed that same process. I literally just put modern interior design and I got these four images. Now, none of these look like my living room except image three right here with this dark wall. Now, it puts stairs right here <laughs> leading into our kitchen. There's no stairs right there, but you know, it isn't perfect. But this was good enough for me. I hit V3, and the prompt I gave it was interior design just to see if it would create something different. And I got out these four images, and I really liked this one right here. Okay, so I ended up upscaling the fourth one. Right click and we're gonna save this. We're gonna say living room. If you're good with finding furniture pieces online, Facebook and thrift stores and Craigslist, then you won't need this next part. But look, let's say for instance, you have a decent budget. Now you have to do this on your phone because there is no desktop version. For the bedroom, if you open it up in Google Lens, you can, let's just say, I click on this lamp right here and it'll open up where I can purchase this lamp from. As you can see, this is an $1,800 lamp on Lumens. I ain't got that kind of money, but it gives me other options. as a $45 version. It doesn't look exactly the same, but basically I'm getting in the ballpark of this style. Um, I can then click on like this middle little piece there, and that is a, a wall lamp. So I can see where to get this from. There's like $200 version. There's, we can do the same thing with the table. All right, and moving on. And I open this image up of the living room and do the same exact thing. I can click on this hanging chandelier and we'll see there are anywhere from 300 to 800 bucks. Um, we can do the same thing with the coffee table. Again, we can do this with the chandelier and the wall plant on the side, we can do the same thing. Okay, different little wall plants. And so obviously because this is AI, you won't get a 100% match, but it'll get you in the ballpark. And that's amazing if you wanna do this to spice up your living areas, if you are a realtor wanting to uh, design any of your homes, um, or if you just wanna make money. But I went to ChatGPT and I said, name some popular design styles. It gave me minimalism, Scandinavian, mid-century modern, all the way down to coastal. Because I'm not an interior designer, but I wanna know what's out there. Um, and I wanna know about this particular style. So then I asked ChatGPT, what is Japandi? <laughs> and it said, it's a design style that combines elements of Japanese and Scandinavian. 
Then that led me to go back into Discord and see if I could input the bedroom picture and just say, give it that Japendi style. And this is what it spit out. Totally amazed at that, right? Look at that, that's crazy. That is essentially my room with the window on the side. I can paint my walls green. I can find one of these lanterns. I can find this table, that bowl. And, and this is something that, you know, I couldn't have come up with on my own because I'm not an interior designer. I told it to give me a bohemian design. This is one of the things that Chad GPT told me. It spit me out my room again with some different boho styles. I mean, obviously like that's a really large window. That's not my room, but this shows, image number four shows my bed on the south wall. And this one shows my bed on the north wall. So it, it gave me both perspectives, even though I didn't give it both perspectives. And this is amazing. Look at that color palette, um, the furniture. This is awesome. And, and if you guys get how exciting this is, I mean, there's so many different ways you can capitalize off this. We can do mood boards. So I went in and said, bedroom mood board, Japandi virtual design package. And it spit out these images. Okay, we could then click on it, download it. Okay, and then we're gonna use Canva to create a color palette on the other ones on Etsy. They have color palettes attached to their mood boards. I love it. And then from there, you can just save that. Now, of course, I wanted to see if Mid Journey could produce it itself. So my next prompt was bedroom mood board, again with the Japandi virtual design and then color palette. It created some more interesting themes here and gave the color palettes with some. So that was awesome. You see that you could do virtual design on any space here in Mid Journey. It isn't perfect, but it's darn near perfect. You guys, my mind is blown. I hope that this was fun and exciting for you guys like it was for me. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, like, and share.